converting photos to black and white offers plenty of editing potential. You can experiment with tones and contrast and give your photos a classy and professional feel. In this video, we'll look at preserving the tones of black and white photos using lab mode. As you can see, I've already opened my photo in Photo Plus. First, we need to switch to lab mode. From the image menu at the top of the workspace, click Color Mode, Lab 16 bits channel. We'll start by desaturating the colour channels in the image using a HSL adjustment. This creates our black and white effect without losing tonal information that you'd expect when converting to grayscale. On the Adjustments tab on the right, click Hue Saturation. You can see that an adjustment layer called Hue Saturation has been added to the Layers tab. The layer provides a non-destructive approach and allows you to experiment freely without worrying about affecting the original photo. There are various presets available when applying a HSL adjustment, but today we'll make changes manually. Drag the saturation slider all the way to the left to completely desaturate your image. As you can see, the image has now been desaturated. However, it looks a little dark, so I'm going to lighten it by applying a curves adjustment to the lightness channel only. At the bottom of the adjustments tab, click back to return to the main adjustments list. Select the curves adjustment. Another adjustment layer, this time called curves, will be added to the layers tab. The lightness channel is currently selected, which lets you edit lightness independently. On the curves graph, select the midpoint of the graph and pull it upward to lighten the image and reduce some of the shadows. We recommend that you aim for a convex curve, a curve that rounds outwards, but feel free to experiment and use your visual judgement to decide what works best. I think that looks much better. Finally, we'll export our finished image. From the File menu at the top left of the workspace, click Export. The currently selected file format and resulting file size is displayed above the preview image. On the Options tab on the left, choose a different file format from the Format drop-down list. JPEG is useful because it produces a smaller file size. However, if there is transparency present in your image, choose the PNG file format and set the bit depth to 32 to ensure that transparency is honoured. Feel free to experiment with format specific settings to see how they affect the visual appearance of the image and its file size. When you're happy, click Export. In the Save As dialog, select a folder and enter a file name. Then click Save. And that's it! To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section of the Starter Persistent. Thanks for watching.